Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some double XL curved square nails. Okay. Um, the tips that I'm using are from Mia's Secret. I will link them down below. Um, the file that I'm using is an 8080 grit that I got from Tulip. I think it's a website. Um, I love it. It's really coarse, just how I like it to be. Um, I'm going to zoom in in a minute so you guys can get a better look at how I'm filing the nails. When you're doing curved tips, there's not much filing you can actually do to the side, but I do like to kind of um, square off the ends. And I also like to uh, make sure the nail is fitting sidewall to sidewall and nothing is hanging off. Because you all know if the tip is too small, there is a possibility that the nail will actually crack. And if it's too big, you'll probably get lifting. So therefore, I just uh, go in and make sure the nail is actually sidewall to sidewall. Taper it with my hand file, as you can see. Okay, so now I will begin blending in the tip to the natural nail using my e-file on a really low speed. Um, I don't use a coarse uh, drill bit, the um, sanding band. I don't use a coarse one. I use an extra fine one, actually. I think it's like 240 grit, just so I don't mess up my client's natural nails. Um, and when I do that, I focus mainly on the sides the sidewalls where the tips are just to make sure that is very very flesh now it is time to start the fun stuff first I'm going to dehydrate her nails using me a secret dehydrator and I'm also going to go back over it with an alcohol wipe after dehydrating is just to make sure there's no dust on the nails. I probably should have did that one first, but you know. Then I'm gonna do my first primer, which is me a secret. And now that my me a secret, I'm gonna double prime using no lift primer. After I place this primer down, I do like to go in and put my first layer of clear acrylic down on the nail and I do that because when I come in to do a refill I like to just drill it all the way down to the clear layer instead of doing soak offs all the time so and some of my clients don't want to keep the same colored acrylic on their nails so this is just to save me some time also, I'm putting my first layer of acrylic down on top of active primer, and that is to prevent lifting. I really like the trick. It does. I've seen a difference in my clients and making sure their nails stay on three plus weeks. So that's always good.
The color I'll be using today on her nails is Cover Rosebud by Young Nails. Um, I do place my first bead towards the end of the nail. And I do that and I kind of just maneuver it up some so I don't waste as much. Um, and I do that only because these are curved tips. So I don't want to start immediately in the center. Well, not the center. I don't want to start immediately where the tip and the natural nail meet. I kind of want to build up the nail because they are longer. So therefore, I just start from the bottom. And I just keep working my way up. I place one bead on top of the next bead on top of the next bead. And that's just to ensure that I continuously have the same thickness throughout the nail. And also to um, make sure I do not cancel out the curve inside the tip. Um, when you place, and I don't want thin tips on the nail. Like I don't like when my clients have thin tips. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing these nails the way that I like them to be done. Not necessarily what everyone else or how everyone else does it. So yeah. So I'm not really following any type of method. Not a 3B method, not a one large bead method, none of that. I'm literally one bead on top of the next, and we're just gonna keep going and keep going. We're gonna move to the sides to make sure we're not, we don't have any lumps, we don't have no bumps, and if we do, we're just gonna fill it in. Okay, we're just gonna fill it in, it is what it is. And we also wanna make sure that we are wiping the sides, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our shape so that when we come into file, there's not much work to do. As you can see, like I said, we wanna make sure we got everything like we need on the side of the nail i noticed that there was no acrylic on the side and i don't like when my nails you can see the clear layer up under the nails so therefore if i need to add a little bit i definitely will some of it does like i do drill off some of the clear part but i don't want an excess amount so in order to make sure i didn't i just went ahead and placed me a little um bead on the side i just placed my cuticle bead down and with that, I kind of like to put it really close to the cuticle and just push it up because I do not want my cuticle overflowing. I don't like that. Um, it's really hard to come back from that. But just in case it does happen, just make sure you clean it up as fast as you possibly can and keep it clean because once you place a wet bead, it just keeps running and keeps running. So just make sure that you're paying attention and you're keeping the cuticle area as clean and flush as you can. And you don't want to leave that stuff on anyone's finger, like on their skin. So just kind of clean it up, like I said. Once again, we're starting from the bottom and working our way up the nail, bead by bead. Um, as you can see, sometimes I place the bead down and it may be a little bit wetter than I would like it to be. And I just kind of catch it from falling off the sides. So that's how you want to do it. You want to catch it before it drips off the side. Because once it starts dripping off the side, that's when your shape is no longer there. And you're going to have a challenging time trying to file them later also when you're placing your acrylic you want to make sure that your client is holding their hand in a downward position so that the acrylic has time to actually flow down um, we don't want their hands leaning to the side because then the acrylic will flow to the side we want to keep their hand at a steady downward position even if that means you have to hold their um hold their their hands hold their fingers as you're doing the acrylic okay so when you're placing your beads down you need to make sure that you also tame the top area of where you place the acrylic so that it does not have like a huge hump at the top it's kind of like when fading it up we need to fade it make sure it looks good and flesh so that when you place the next bead on top it doesn't have a hump under it um the next bead i'm going to place is the cuticle bead like i said i place this oh well, i guess i lied that's not the cuticle bead that's me doing cleanup because we need to make sure that our nails have the same thickness from top to bottom Now I'm placing a cuticle bead. Like I said, I place it as close as I can and then I kind of just move it up. Move it up, make sure it's flush, make sure it's not overflowing. And then we blend it down. And clean it up. 
blend it down, blend it down. Then we're going to move our fingers to the sides. We're going to make sure that we don't need any more beads anywhere else. There we go. One little spot. You see how my bead is sitting? It's not running. That's because it's not super wet. We do not want super wet beads on our cuticle because that's how they get messed up and overflown. I'm gonna let you guys watch me uh, lay the acrylic for the rest of them. I just wanna remind you guys, make sure you are cleaning up the sides as you are laying your acrylic because we do not want to have a lot of shaping to do later. And also making sure we do not have humps at the top of where we lay our acrylic so that our beads lay as flat as possible. And it also helps, like I said, to hold your client's hand in a downward position. So go ahead, enjoy the rest.
now it is time for me to start shaping i like to bring the whole picture together okay so i like to start by kind of going over the area where the tip and the natural nail meet and kind of tapering it in to make sure it looks good and i like to go from the sides because these are square so you know it's not really much shaping to do for square nails um i do like to go across the top of the nail with the nail file to make sure there are no lumps no bumps of course you can do that with the e-file but i personally prefer to do it with my hand file and like i said i like to go across and make sure everything's straight start from the bottom make work my way up same way i do with my acrylic um, like I said, I do like to start where the natural nail and the tip would meet so I can ensure that I am getting it really nice and tapered where it looks like these aren't hanging off your fingernails. We don't like nails to hang off the fingernails, so we want to taper the sides in so they don't look bulky. And then we're going to go across the tops and make sure. There's no lumps, no bumps. We're gonna use our thumb to feel up and down the nail. We're gonna feel up and down the nail. We're gonna keep coming back to each finger too, just to make sure. Feel, feel, feel. And we'll go on to the next one. I'm gonna let you guys watch me do this and I'll be back when it's time to start e-filing. So for the pinky, I am going to be going in regular motion. This is not sped up. This is not slow motion. This is how fast I actually go when I am drilling around the cuticles. Um, I am zoomed in so you guys can actually see. The bit that I'm using is from Pano. I go up and down, up and down, go around the cuticle some more, some more. And when I go around the cuticle, I kind of like to... Um, bring down some of the bulk around the cuticle as well so i go around to seal it and then i go around some more to make sure that i am also taking down some of the bulk around the cuticle it's not always super bulky but these were thicker nails so i just need to make sure that they are to my liking you know
so now we're finishing up we are going to clean our nails with some sanitizer some people like to swipe whatever the case may be but i like to clean them up anyways so we can get most of the dust off get all the crusty stuff off her nails um she already washed them but i like to go in and make sure it's thorough so when i do my painting i don't have any crusties or dusties in my way the top coat that I will be using is from Beatles. I love this coat. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I really think that's all for today. I don't think I do anything. I didn't do anything extra. I didn't have to encapsulate these nails, which is another reason why I was putting the colored acrylic on there so thick. Um, you will see me at the end taking my pictures. And you guys will see them. What poses I like to use and props uh i just want to say thank you guys for watching my video i hope that you guys have the time to like subscribe and also leave a comment if you can it really does help um i am new here but i do believe that i will be consistent i have some more videos coming soon so you guys just stay tuned and keep rocking out with me peace out